Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and this is my Corrupted Lodestone Frost Gorge Sound farming video. Now this takes place by the Ice Flow Waypoint in Frost Gorge Sound. It's, it's right around the central area and what you're going to be gil killing is Ice Brood Colossus. Now, Corrupted Lodestones are used in crafting some of the legendary weapons in Guild Wars 2, which is the reason that they have such a high value. Usually the, well actually rather right now on the trading post they are going for about 83 silver to 85 silver a piece. And they don't have such a horrible drop rate here to the point of where they'd be so ungodly rare that you can't get more than one an hour. Which, if you add it up, that would mean you're making over in gold an hour, sometimes up to three or even five gold an hour. When I first found this location I managed to find three of them within 30 minutes. Uh, one of those I found while I was making the video for this location that you are watching now. Now, of course, I probably just got retardedly lucky and I looked th this exact item up on Guild Wars 2 database and I, somebody said they farmed for seven hours and only got one, which uh, seems a little far-fetched to me. But, of course, you know, some people are going to be really lucky. Some people are going to be completely unlucky. It's just how the game works and pretty much anything that's left up to randomness. Now, the main thing you want to keep in mind for this farming location is be sure to stack magic find. It's probably the most important thing you can possibly get uh, for farming here. Now, I've heard people out there say that uh, these won't drop unless you have 140% magic find or some high magic find ranking over 100%. That's complete bullshit. I have 95% magic find and like I said before I found three of them within 30 minutes so you don't need a certain amount of magic find in order to get these to drop I wanted to clear that up as soon as possible uh, however the more magic find you have the better chance you know one will drop for you that's just how things work now the ice brood colossuses are pretty abundant in this area there's once again right around ice flow waypoint there's also a few of them up by the uh, Draker waypoint up in the um northwestern portion of the zone but that might be covered in another video for now we're covering this location now uh these despite being large ice elementals and looking all brawny and tough they're actually quite squishy they don't have much hp and they don't really hit that hard the only p thing that is a little bit annoying about this farm location is the corrupted quaggins uh, on the eastern end by the water they're really annoying because they just add on to you and you don't even want to kill them uh so if you get past that little minor inconvenience, you'll be able to do much better in this farming location. So, aside from the corrupted lodestones, you're also going to be getting a bunch of other loot here, such as, you know, the gray vendor trash that you'll get, icy stones or whatever the hell they're called. Uh, you're also going to be getting fine crafting material, claws, such as large claws and vicious claws. Large claws, I'm pretty sure, are the 325 uh, skill rating ones, and the vicious claws are the 400 max... Uh, skill rating ones that you can possibly get in the game you're also going to be getting other stuff here like chainmail gear the acolyte gear that they're pretty much a salvage trash or they're white items that you can sell to a vendor or salvage whatever you want to do with them really and you're also going to be getting other more specific salvage items such as valuable metal scraps and that's pretty much it as far as loot goes here uh, there's a few more things that you need to keep in mind when farming here. Don't forget, uh, ArenaNet has this system built in where if you farm the same location and the same mobs for far too long, it's going to trigger a, uh, w w I guess you could just call it a diminished return, uh, which means you're going to be getting a lot less loot than you'd normally get for farming, this, so for farming those mobs slash that location slash that event until you leave and come back after a while. This is set uh, to your account, not to your character aka you can't just you know get the diminished return here and then switch characters and then keep farming and then switch back and then keep farming and then switch back and do all that repeatedly over and over and over and over again uh, once you trigger it you're gonna have to leave and then come back after a while what I recommend you do instead of uh, if you don't want to leave the zone or go anywhere else just run around the zone do all the gathering I have a frost gorge sound gathering path on my website if you wanted to take a look at it website is in the description uh, of this video or you can just leave, go to maybe Kershaw, do a few events there. Or if Jormag's up in this zone, you can do Jormag. Uh, Malkor's Leap, uh, Straits of Devastation. Really, you can jump anywhere. Blaze Ridge Steps is also a great location to bang out within 30 minutes, make 75 silver, and then hop back here. Uh, 
<clears throat> the diminished return, nobody is really sure how long it takes in order to kick in. Some people say it kicks in like within five minutes of them logging on, which is probably complete bullshit. And other people like me, I've never seen it work on mobs. I've seen it on Karma events and other events in Kershaw, but I've never really seen it happen on a, any of the Risen that I killed out there or anywhere else. So while it might be somewhat rare to trigger, it's definitely you'll definitely notice it when it happens, I've been told. Uh, ultimately, if you kill if you kill them for I guess like thirty minutes and you just don't get any loot at all, or maybe you do like three cycles, which is uh, running from ice flow around the mountain, circling back. If you do that with it three or four times and you don't get loot from the ice brew colossuses, any loot at all, even gray items, you've probably triggered the diminished return. So in that case, you just want to run around, gather everything. Maybe you can move to the skelks or the uh, minotaurs if you want vial of blood and anything like that. Really, the options are endless. They're all open to you. However, pretty much with this farming location, if I had to estimate, I'd say you'd probably make, be making about three gold an hour from farming here. Uh, I honestly don't, uh, from farming here for quite a while, after making the video, just to learn what to say when I'm doing this narration without stopping and stuttering so much, I managed to find another five or six corrupted lodestones, and that was all within maybe an hour, hour and a half. And I honestly can't see somebody only finding one in seven hours like aforementioned and like the one guy said on the Guild Wars 2 database. It's just so highly unlikely that you'd find so little of them here in such, you know, long period of time. Unless you have like 0% magic find or something like that. But I'd honestly say, once again, about three gold for farming here. Uh, an hour. <clears throat> all luck. All depends on how much you find. You can make more, you can make less. But that would be the average estimate that I'd give. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. So if you guys enjoyed this farming guide, like, comment, and subscribe to me for future Guild Wars 2 farming guides. If, and of course, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments section. I will do my best to getting around to answering them as soon as possible. Aside from that, there's nothing else I can say. So good luck and happy hunting.